All right, I'm going to talk for a minute or two about math operations, and then we'll be all done. This is kind of a quick lecture, and you'll have two more assignments. All right, so we're going to start with addition. Uh, and, and in general, by the way, most of the uh, operations that we can do math-wise in Visual Basic are very similar to the math operations that you've done in your math classes since sixth grade. So addition, we use a plus sign. And we can say my variable is equal to 20 plus 5, and that means that my variable will be equal to 25. We can do subtraction, and for that we just use the minus sign. Everything is just as you would expect. 20 minus 5 is 15, so after this line, my variable would be equal to 15. Division, for that we use a slash, just like you would do, uh, you know, anywhere. Uh, that's like, just like, kind of turns it into a fraction. For this one, 20 divided by 5 is 4, and so my variable would be equal to 4. And for multiplication, we use a little star, which is just like a multiplication symbol. Uh, this one's good too to know is that if we want to make something an exponent, it's called exponentiation. Okay, we can use the caret. Here's a little caret symbol, right? Uh, it's above six on most keyboards, um, and that means that 20 to the fifth power will get placed inside my variable. That's a big number. I don't know what it is, um, but yeah, these power symbols pretty pretty helpful sometimes. So that's basic stuff, just the same old basic math operators. Now we're just going to talk about one thing that's a little bit different between math and computer science. And I want to highlight this because this is a really important misconception that people have sometimes when they first come into programming. The equal sign is a little bit tricky, right? Because in math, if I say that x is equal to 4, okay, there's something called the reflexive property which says that 4 is also equal to x, right? You've probably learned that before. In other words, the x and the 4 are interchangeable. That's for math, okay? That means that whatever's on the right side and whatever's on the left side are the same thing. However, in computer science, it's not really an equal sign. It's technically called, and this is not a piece of vocabulary you need to know, it's technically called an assignment operator. And what it's doing is, it's not saying that my variable and 20 are the same thing, like it is for the equal sign in math, right? It's actually only going one way. And it's saying that the 20 is getting placed inside the my variable variable box, right? That we're sticking that, we made that box called my variable, there it is, and we've slid the number 20 right in there, okay? But it only goes one way. It only goes one way. And I want to show you how this works in Visual Basic again. So let's go just do that real quick. So this is important, right? So if I say dim my number as an integer, right? And then I say, all right, my number is equal to 12, 23, okay? And then I go ahead and say textbox1.text is equal to my number, right? All right, so what we've done is we've made a little box. We've stuck 23, the number 23, in that box. And then we said, okay, text box dot text. I want you to be, I want you to take the information from my number and stick it in the text box. So if we run it and we hit the button, we should expect to see that 23 would appear. And it does. Jordan. Okay. But this equal sign is not like it is in math. If I went somewhere like this and said my number is equal to text box one dot text. Mm. If this was math, then switching the size of something that's on an equal sign will work just fine. Okay, but this isn't. And this equal sign doesn't mean these things are the same. It means whatever's in the text box goes in my number. Okay? And I'll show you just to prove it. I'll put a little message box here where that will show what's in my number. Okay? And I set my number equal to 23, right? But then afterwards, whatever's in the text box is going to get put in my number. So let's try this. Let's say I just put a 1 in here just just because. If I hit the button, oh, suddenly the 1 appears in the message box. So what's going on here? Now I'm putting the number 23 in my number, but then in the next line, okay, I'm taking the content of the text box and then putting it in my number and then displaying it with the message box. So my point here is that the, the, which side of the equal sign things are on is important. It's not important in math. It's very important in computer science. The idea is this equal sign doesn't mean these two things are the same. What it means are, what it means is you're telling the computer take this and stick it in there. So that's a little bit different. Hopefully you get the concept there. That's why it's called assignment. You're assigning this to that. You're not setting them equal to each other like it is in math. All right, so one piece of vocab for this lecture, which we're all done with, it's just the decimal uh, variable type. Okay, you already have string and 
integer in your code. So this is just a nice addition. I'm sorry, in your vocab sheet, this is a nice addition. Uh, we got two new assignments coming your way, um, and then maybe we'll have one more before um, Thanksgiving, or maybe this might be it. Um, assignment number six, which is called Decimal Strings and Integers. And assignment six is just an extension from assignment five. In assignment five, you had two text boxes, and when you clicked on a button, it would either add them as a string or add them as an integer. And now I want you to add them as a decimal as well. And so that means that if I press the Add as a String button, this would come up as 2.4, 3.3, right? All smushed together, these two numbers. If I click on add as an integer, these numbers will get rounded and then get added together. So this would actually add up to five and just plain old five. And if I click add as a decimal, 2.4 plus 3.3 is 5.7. So that's, that's what should come up. So that's a little tricky. Um, good luck with that. It's just a small extension to add a button for add as a decimal and to add the code for that. Um, and then assignment seven, we're going to make a little mini calculator and we're going to have two or three text boxes. One is the first number, one is the second, and then one is where the, the answer goes. And then you press the, any one of these buttons and the mathematical operation happens. So for example, if I put 5.5 and 4.4 in here and then I hit add, 9.9 .9 should show up there because that's what 5.5 plus 4.4 is, right? We're adding them. Um, you also notice there's a plus sign here. If I hit multiply, Okay, it should multiply these two numbers together and give you the answer in this box, and it should also change this plus sign to a multiplication sign. Good luck with that one. That one's going to be fun. All right, just a quick look at the objectives before we're done. Uh, hopefully, you learned how to declare a decimal value variable this time. Uh, that's a new variable type that we learned today, and we've learned about some basic math operations, and you're going to put that together in a calculator not too long from now. All right, get started.